welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Hey friends, so thanks for joining me at my desk today. I am um, still working on this. I fixed my problem that was on this just to show you real quick. I uh, um, I had joined my work like I had ended a row and went on with the orange for a little too long and then changed colors and so when I took when I looked back I was able to find my um, place here where I should have stopped and so I counted six and then I had an increase and if you remember I should have had six left over at the end of that row and I didn't because what had happened was I left in a, another stitch marker <clears throat> at a random place and I should not have and so I'm, I'm taking that one out so I don't use it but anyway I was able to count back to you can see right, right here I had a double increase right here not a double crochet but an increase is what I meant and then six over and that would have been my last stitch so I was able to fix that real easy just pull that out and then um, you know started my pink and now I'm going around in the pink and so I'm on the last row of the pink and it'll be done but I thought I would show y'all this book in case you haven't seen too cute amigurumi this book has a lot of cute things in it and that's where i got the cloud and that's where i'm getting this rainbow and the slice of cake is in here also so i thought i would just show you what's in the book the cute little um stuff um like that cactus is really cute and i'm looking for things to make um you know doll heads out of for my art dolls try not to show like the whole patterns and stuff but <clears throat> here's some little popsicles and I've made that before with some premier yarn um velvet chunky yarn from premier I've made that before with that and it was really cute and I did sell that at one of the markets that we did I don't know if I put a unicorn horn on it or not I can't remember but it was a triple ice cream so all those are really cute. I don't know how they would do for heads on the art doll. Maybe the ice cream cone would. I'm not sure about the popsicles. But anyway, they're cute. Let's just know that they're all cute. <laughs> uh, I was just trying to find the next little section. Okay, these would all be cute little heads too. Um, the lemon... Especially, I do know I'm going to make a lemon one. The watermelon would be cute. A guacamole. A strawberry and a pear. Those would all be really cute as art doll heads. Let me just see. I started that strawberry, it seems like. And it was like really huge. But I was using a 5mm hook. And this does call for a 2.5mm milliliter <laughs> millimeter um but i just can't use that small of a hook i just i just can't do it um anyway i might give that a try with a four size g hook wouldn't that be a g i believe so i might try that with a g hook and see how it turns out <clears throat> They're all really cute though. I have made the guac before and it did sell at the art fair. So I thought a um, guacamole head on a doll would be cute. I do want to get some men's bodies. Um, I think I can get some Ken bodies at Walmart for $5. Just the basic Ken doll. I think he's in like swimming trunks and I can crochet him pants and a shirt so I might get some of those I mean I, I can get them at Walmart I prefer to find them at like a rummage sale or thrift stores cheaper than five dollars each but um 
uh, I may end up having to purchase those at Walmart is what I'm trying to say. And Big Daddy's like, oh, when I did that before, <laughs> he couldn't believe I, I just brought the doll home. I opened the package and ripped the head off. And the doll was like $5. <laughs> anyway, here's that cloud. So I could make some, you know, white cloud and that little blue cloud that I had made. And this is the rainbow that I'm making, but, um, well, oh, there it is. I'm not putting the arms and legs and stuff like that on it. My rainbow is going to be the actual head to it all. I'm trying to keep my place there. Let's see what else we got. There is a, a sun, so I am going to make a sun doll. I did get some uh, coordinating beads to go with orange and yellow. And I'm also going to do a sunflower one. I was trying to get some, you know, beads to coordinate with that also. And then there's just a flower. <clears throat> What's the difference in that and the sun? Okay, so the sun is yellow in the middle with some orange petals. Petals. Rays. I guess that would be called. <laughs> let, me, let me see what they call it. sunbeams <clears throat> they're calling these sunbeams and then the flower is orange with yellow petals so that's really cute too it is and then there's a raindrop I don't know if I'll make that one or not what do y'all think about a raindrop head I don't know if you'd be able to know that it was actually a raindrop. It just looks like a kind of a blue blob. <laughs> and then there's a hamburger, pizza, and I could do a pizza doll. Um, with the pizza, you know, sticking up. And then there's some fry, a French fry container with French fries, <clears throat> a glass of lemonade, and then there's pancakes. That looks really cute. I don't know. I was just thinking, how could I make that into a doll head? But I guess I could take the stack of pancakes and kind of turn it where the face and all this is facing out. I could do that. What's your opinions on the these? A hamburger, pizza, or pancakes. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. Pancakes, fries, and then the lemonade. Which could be made any color for any kind of drink. So, yeah. I was already thinking like a teacup and a teapot. So, I was already thinking about doing those. One a teapot and one a teacup head. And see how those turn out. But though a piece of pizza is cute. And I have done a big piece of pizza uh, pillow before. The hamburger, if I was to do that... It would all have to be sewn together. Like it wouldn't be individual pieces. Well, I guess it would be. And then you just sew. I'd have to sew them together. So they did not, you know, come off. Then we have some sweet treats. I know there's a glare. Ew. Okay, so. <laughs> that's the piece of cake that I am currently making. Um, I... I'm not going to put a unicorn corn on it because, um, you, you, I mean, if you don't know that's a unicorn cake, you would be like, is that a candle or what? Like, and I could make a better candle than that. So, yeah, I'm scrapping that part. <laughs> and then there's a turtle donut, which I am going to make donuts, but um, this turtle donut won't work. What I'm going to do is make the donut head on the doll body like this and that would just wouldn't work that way anyway uh, this heart I do want to make some of these hearts all in one color to be um, doll heads here's a teddy bear cupcake that is super cute that is cute as it could be I guess I could make the whole cupcake minus the arms and legs to be the head you know yeah minus arms and legs on here and stick that on a doll's body. I 
could do that because it is super cute. And then um, here's a, I guess a sundae, ice cream sundae. I don't know what the bottom of this, I hadn't looked at the pattern to see how, if that closes up or if that's just added on. But I guess that would work if it was, you know, closed up on the bottom. I could close it. Let's see what else is in here. Yeah, there's the unicorn cake that I'm making. Minus the, because it's called a rainbow unicorn cake. So I'm minusing the unicorn horn. <laughs> And just making it a birthday cake. I got to put sprinkles on my white before I sew that together. Oh, this is called a do not worry. Oh, a do not worry turtle. So I am going to make some donuts. I'm going to look at my donut pattern that I normally use um, in this one and see which one's bigger or smaller. Um, and then try one of the donuts that I do make. Try that on a next to a doll body to see if it's too big or if a little smaller. I think this one's smaller. Or if a smaller one would be better. So I'll just figure out what size. Yeah, there's that um, little berry cupcake. I think that would be cute. As long as you could tell that is a cupcake Um you know, without the arms and legs, just the cupcake wrapper and then the cupcake. As long as you can tell that's the wrapper, that would be cute. So give me your thoughts. I'm, I'm open to suggestions. And then here's the cactuses. Now, if I was to make these, would I make the pot and the cactus and just let the pot be part of the doll's head? I'm thinking so. Actually, I have a doll, a boy doll body in there that does have a little uh, pot plant head, but there's no plant in there. I plan to make him a plant to go in his pot. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense but I was just thinking it just popped in my head that I might could buy some more of those little plant pots to make him to make some more like that and make the little plants or I could just crochet the pot let me let me go get him Okay, here's Mr. Pothead. He just sits in my living room. One time, um, uh, one of Elijah's friends gave him this. And so he just has on some blue tennis shoes and some blue and white striped overalls and a shirt that has, like, lemonade on it. And then a pot sitting on top of his head and his head does not come through here so his head is i mean it's glued on top of his neck there not sure how well you can see that so this has just been sitting in there and the one time dakota i mean elijah did put a little succulent plant in here and so um after he had left I emptied that anyway so if I make some dolls like this should I get little pots like this because I believe I could get these at like Walmart or Michaels somewhere I could get some little cheap pots I don't want you know heavy um, those orange clay pots I wouldn't want those but this is just plastic if I could find plastic or should I just crochet a little pot what do you th what do you guys think is cuter a little crocheted pot with a face and a plant in it or this with just a plant growing out of it you guys tell me what you think on that and so anyway I could make some little pothead dolls those might go over good here's the big pizza pillow this sets in the den on the back of um, big daddy's little love seat where he sits so yeah
<laughs> I've made a big pillow of that before. And that pattern came from 3AM Grace Designs. You can look them up on YouTube also. But they have just a regular page um, website, 3AMGraceDesigns.com or .org. I'm not really quite sure on that. But just search 3AM Grace Designs. They have lots of patterns and lots of patterns that's great for beginners. But anyway, I think that's all of the little sections in this book. But this is really a cute book. Too Cute Amigurumi. You can find this on Amazon with lots of cute little things in it. So, yeah, so right now I am just finishing crocheting on this. It is Sunday while I am recording. Saturday evening, we ended up going and meeting our son Dakota uptown. He, um, he, he had got a new cell phone for his birthday, and he never did get a case to go on it, and I was just scared he's going to drop it, you know, working in the kitchen, as he does as a bakery, um, I was just scared he was going to end up dropping his phone and breaking the screen, so I told him if he wanted to meet me uptown, I'd get him a case for his phone. And so he did. And I said, let's go to Five Below. Because when I was in there, I saw a whole bunch of phone cases. And he's probably thinking, well, Five Below, I can just go there by myself. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> we went to Five Below. They only had iPhone cases. And he has an Android so they only, every case they had in that store was for an iPhone. But I did find Big Daddy a Elvis Funko Pop. So that was cool. Um, so I got that for Big Daddy as a surprise. A little Elvis Pop. And so then we ended up going over to Target. I told Dakota, I said, just ride with us to Target. Because I want you to show me something on my phone anyway. And so, while we was riding over there, Big Daddy was driving. While we were riding over there, I pulled out my phone so he could show me how to do something. That I don't even know if I remember. <laughs> but anyway, and then we went in Target. And they only had one case for his phone. Just a clear case. And so, we got that. And... They had um, pop sockets on sale, so we got a pop socket too, so just to help him kind of hold on to the phone, because I don't know, without a pop socket, I wouldn't be able to hold my phone at all. So that works for me, a <laughs> pop socket, and the trouble that he has with his hands also, I said, well, you probably need a pop socket. Let me see if I have 14. Let me check. Make, oh, there's my book up here. Let me check. Make sure I'm supposed to be doing 14. I am. Okay. One second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How about that? Okay. Sometimes I just get lucky. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, then we went and ate at a, a Mexican restaurant. Well, they ate. I did order something, but just kind of watched them eat. <laughs> I was just talking. We were talking and chatting. And as soon as I took a couple of bites, uh, my esophagus was hurting really bad. And I just didn't want to push it. So I did bring that home. And I'm going to try to eat some of that later today. Um, it was just some ground-up hamburger meat. That's all it was. <laughs> With some cheese sauce on it. And sometimes cheese... Cheese doesn't work for me. Because as it gets... Um, sometimes cheese is just too stringy and um, clogs up my esophagus. But anyway... If I'm not able to eat it today, then Big Daddy can take it for lunch 
on Monday. And I just realized this is a short week for him because he'll probably be off on Good Friday. Unless he needs to catch up on work. If he's behind on some stuff, he will go in and work. Uh, we don't have any plans for Good Friday, as far as I know. But anyway, it was good to spend some time with Dakota. I know his name is Morgan. I know it's kind of confusing. Some people were asking about why does his channel say Morgan Miller. Because that's his name. <laughs> when he was born, we did not have a name for him. We um, were told he would probably be a girl. So we did not have a boy name picked out. And... He was emergency C-section, and I, I think at the very end we found out it was, he was a boy, but we still, we didn't know if the baby was going to make it, and I just didn't pick out a boy name at the time. And then after he was born, when I got to go down to the um, nursery to see him, I had to go down to see him because he was in a, um, um, NICU, is that what it's called? The NICU. And so I am sitting there petting him with one finger because he had tubes and all over him and big old stickers like to monitor, you know, different things. And so there wasn't much room because he was a tiny baby. It wasn't much room to even touch him, so I was just kind of touching him with one finger. And the nurse says, um, what are y'all going to call him, Morgan or Dakota? And I was like, where did you get those names? <laughs> I hadn't even thought about his name. And apparently Big Daddy had named him Morgan Dakota. And we called him Dakota from the get-go, so I don't know why we didn't just name him Dakota. We never called him Morgan. Like, his whole life, I never called him Morgan, not once. You know, and some people, some parents will say middle name, first name and middle name when the child's in trouble or something. Never did that. Like, I never said the name Morgan. And when he started college, in one of his first class, the teacher was like, Morgan, Morgan Miller, Imagine Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the teacher calling the name, <laughs> and nobody said anything, and then uh, Dakota realized, oh, he never called my name. Oh, I bet I was Morgan Miller that didn't answer. <laughs> so, anyway, that was his first time to ever go to school. Um... And so, he started going by Morgan around that time. Now, you know, his driver's license and stuff like that did say Morgan Miller, but we just never called him that. We just never, we just never called him Morgan. And so, he wasn't used to um, answering to that. So, about that time, he started going by Morgan, especially when he started, you know, working and getting jobs and stuff like that, because, you know, you have to go by your name that's you know i mean you can have a nickname but if you go by a different name than what your check is going to be made out to it kind of gets confusing and stuff so he goes by morgan to some people and then there's some of us who will always call him dakota no matter what <laughs> two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen surely i didn't get that right again Okay, so that was my increase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yay me! <laughs> I'm not messing up this time that I know of at the moment. <laughs> the last two videos I've done doing something like this, I had some major boo-boos. <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't the last two, but one before... And then yesterday's, I had major boo-boos on these. <laughs> okay, this is my stopping. This right here is my stopping. This one I'm just putting on my last of the increase. 
so I can count from there over to get my 14 stitches because I have to do 14 and then increase so anyway um yeah his his boss lady the owner of the bakery she does call him Morgan and the first time I went in there after he started working there the first time we went in um and she called him Morgan I was like what <laughs> but I know at other jobs he's went by Morgan also I think the first few jobs he tried going by Dakota and it was just confusing because some people didn't know him as Morgan, but then they were trying to find this Morgan to give a paycheck to, and it, it, it was kind of confusing. And so once he started working at that fancy, fancy restaurant that he worked at for a few years, um, he just went by Morgan. So anyway, we did enjoy spending some time with him and him putting up with his parents. <laughs> I was picking on him about stuff in his videos and telling me and Angela <laughs> talked about his videos and um, things that we were saying and stuff. And he just stuck his tongue out at us. I had to tell Angela that this morning. I told Dakota, you said blah, blah, blah. And... He stuck his tongue out at you. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, Dakota is doing a live on his channel tonight. So, it's at 7 p.m. East Central Time. We're Central. So, 7 p.m. Central Time. You'd have to figure out when that is time for you. But, um... He is doing a live cook with me video tonight. So that'll be interesting. I plan on tuning in and watching that and giving him a hard time. Because he wouldn't expect anything different from me but a hard time. So. Anyway. <laughs> um. He did leave ingredients in case anyone wanted to grab up those ingredients and cook with him. He probably should have gave that list a little bit sooner in the week, earlier in the week. But I think just from his job and things he has going on, he, um, you know, just time got away from him. Time just got away from him. I know he had a house full of people the other night for a meeting that he's involved in. And he said by the time everybody left, he was so exhausted, he just went to bed. <laughs> Let me count and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this one I'm on now is an increase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I need to make this one an increase. I think this is going much better. I still feel like my crocheting is very slow, but I'm not complaining about that. I'm thank very thankful that I can crochet. I'm not complaining about it. I just, you know, I'm used to going faster. But I'm just having to slow down and enjoy the yarn. <laughs> oh, so it is Sunday. What do you guys have going on today? And what are your plans for this upcoming week? I am going to record a few videos this afternoon. I have a um, Joanne yarn haul of some eye candy. I have um, a Happy Mail video that me and Big Daddy need to record. And let's see, I have some Patina Happy Mail videos that desperately need to be recorded. I 
a few more things. I have I have a few more videos I need to record and get ready for this week. Um, some of them I just I've recorded the video. I just need to do some kind of intro. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that this afternoon. And I do have a lot of Instagram photos that I have not even just I have not even put up on Instagram. Just um oh. just sometimes that gets away from me and you know I, I don't know sometimes I get overwhelmed with just too much to do <laughs> and I'm not talking about the social media I mean you know I, I limit my social media that does not stress me out I'm just talking about house things and you know things in my life coordinating appointments um insurance or sissy hey sissy girl come here come here sissy Come on, Sissy girl. You can get right here, Sissy. Ah, there she leaves. After I clear off a spot. <laughs> yeah, I don't really let social media stress me out because I can drop that in a hot potato. <laughs> That's not, you know, um, <clears throat> I can drop that, you know. I don't really let that. And that's what I did. I just let that fall to the side while I've had just so much going on and so much in my, on my mind and stuff i just let instagram slide there and sometimes you know you have to do that for your own mental health not to be overwhelmed with too much in this world and that's one of the reasons why i don't do facebook facebook does overwhelm me um people expect a lot on facebook i think um uh, instagram I feel like you can just scroll through, double tap, heart, photos, and keep on scrolling. It's not like you're expected to do any more than that. <clears throat> and plus, my Instagram is just crafty things. I only have, like, crafts on there. People who post... Um, political stuff are um I don't have any of that on my Instagram I don't have anything that I really just don't care to see and that's the good thing about Instagram if you follow somebody or if you don't follow somebody it's not really expected like Facebook is I feel like and so on Instagram like I said I only follow crafters and, you know, I, I love to see their craft stuff with a sprinkle of their family and, you know, other things going on in their life. But their channel, their YouTube channel thing, whatever, not YouTube, Instagram account is mostly their craft stuff, you know. But I do like to see the crafter behind the crafts and the family that's, you know, they're supporting the crafter and all that too i don't know i just feel like instagram is a better mix for me um facebook yeah i just don't enjoy facebook at all and plus when i get on facebook i find that it takes hours like by the time you look up again you don't miss three hours of your life on what <laughs> so hey cc come here cc girl you haven't been up here in a while yeah, that's my little bitty girl. So she's just sniffing my hand. You hadn't been up here in a while, Sissy. She's so little. I know y'all can't tell from video how small she is. But if you saw her and Sassy laying side by side, you would see just how tiny little Sissy is. We call her Sissy Baby. I do. I call her Sissy Baby. And Big Daddy treats her. He baby talks her. He doesn't baby talk Sassy. Because <laughs> Sassy's like this grown woman that can take care of herself. And Sissy's like a little fragile baby. So, he baby talks her. And she knows when he's in here goes to the restroom or he's coming around she can jump up on that piano and walk around to the side and he's gonna pet her so 
That's what she does. And as he's leaving the room, going into the kitchen way, she runs around to that corner of the piano and stands there, you know, tries to beat him over there. So he stops and pets her over there again. Huh, sissy. I don't think I moved my stitch marker that round. What is it, Sissy? Um, kind of double checking to make sure I did put that in the right place. I think it is. I have, a, I have a little bit of difficulty, vision difficulties. And so I have to like look at things for a long time before I can actually focus to see, see what I'm seeing. It takes my eyes a little time to focus on them. So, yeah, I think that's it. Right? Or is that it? No. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe? Let me count that just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 okay um and let me let me put this in there and then i'm gonna see if it's gonna work out <clears throat> anyway yeah i do have a hard time focusing it's like my eyes had to stare at something for a long time before it actually focuses in on what I'm supposed to be seeing and so hmm. and a lot of times when I'm in town and I run into someone I know I don't recognize faces like I, I don't see features on faces that well unless I stare at them for a moment so a lot of times I recognize voices I'll recognize a voice before I can ever recognize someone's face well sissy what are you doing, little girl? Did you want to come lay on this pillow? Here, sissy. Sissy. Come here, you can get on this pillow. She's, she acts like she wants to go, but she's not quite sure. Oh. Well, sissy. Huh? We got you all tangled up here. You want to get up here and lay? No. It was my idea, not yours, huh? <laughs> okay, you're fine. Alright, so that is a double curse. I mean, not a double, but an increase. Let me see how many I have left after that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 exactly but I'm surely I'm supposed to increase let me see what this pattern does call for it says I should have seven left over at the end. 14 single crochets and an increase five times and I should have seven single crochets left at the end 
So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. That's where I should be starting my seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you know, I was doing a lot of chatting while I was crocheting and yeah, that don't always work out so well for me. <laughs> oh, what is that? Because this is where I'm going to end it. I think that's just a extra stitch marker I left in there. Probably when I shouldn't have. But let me count from there. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that's an increase. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fourteen. And that should be an increase right here. And it's not. So let me go back and find that last. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. My phone cut off by itself at some point there, and I don't know. Sometimes it just does that. And what was this here for? I don't know. But I did go back and figure this out. I counted. It's just a matter of counting and going back and counting and figuring out where you made a mistake at. And so I found that where I should have increased and didn't. So I'm, I'm on the road now. Um, that's my last increase. So now I got to do some single crochets. I'm getting around to the end of this row, and I will be done with the rainbow head. Anyway, I don't think I have any doctor's appointments this week, so that's kind of odd for me. <laughs> I don't think I have any. I haven't looked at my um, calendar yet to see, but... I think I'm good. Big Daddy should be having one at some point, but I don't know when. I think this is a short week for him because of Good Friday, like I said. So, he probably didn't schedule a doctor's appointment. Because of that. Because of it already being a short week. But anyway... Yeah, be sure to tell me and down in the comments what you have going on this week. What's what's happening in your world? What plans? I am going to uh, finish up the duck blanket. I did work on some stuff for that. And so, I'm going to finish that up. And I think Big Daddy and I are going out one night with um, the grandparents of the baby. That I'm making that far and so I'll just give it to her then beforehand I'll probably pick up um, some diapers burp cloths or something like that to go along with it something something whatever whatever I see when I run through Walmart <laughs> yeah Today is my little friend Zeke's birthday party. I was going to get him some Legos, but honestly, I don't know what sets he has and doesn't have. He tells me all the time about all these sets that he wants, but I can't remember the name of them, you know. He talks Legos the whole time he's at my house. <laughs> 
and it all just runs together. I can't remember what he says he has and what he doesn't have. So, I think I'm just going to take him to town one day this week. Since I have wheels, and he has, um, when he has some free time this week, I think I'll just ask his mom if he can go to town with me. Is what I'll do. Now, I need to count that and make sure it is um, 14. What I have going on, if you don't mind, I'm going to count again. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think this is going to make me one short on having the seven single crochets at the end. But that's okay. I can I can live with one short on that. So I'm gonna put my increase. I keep saying double crochet. I'm just doing single crochet increase. Sometimes I just don't say the right thing, but I know you're all smart enough to figure out what I am saying, so I don't really fret about that. <laughs> Uh. Trying to pick that up on my own, but it wasn't working. Okay, so that's my increase. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you know what? One little missing single crochet isn't going to hurt anything. A lot of times in amigurumis, you might get off... And probably what happened on this is probably after one of the increases, um, the next stitch was probably covered up or too close and I didn't see it and ended up skipping it. I, I tend to do that sometimes. I don't see the stitch next to an increase or something. What is it, Cece? So, I am finishing my rainbow, but I think it said not to cut the yarn. Because I'm probably going to single crochet around the whole thing folded um, with the pink, right? That's what I'm thinking it's going to say next. But I haven't, I haven't really read, a, read ahead of the pattern to know that, but I think that's what it's wanting me to do. But I'm going to put my stitch marker back right there. Because that is my last stitch. And we'll see what this is going to look like. Probably before I single crochet it together, I need to put my face on there. And do something with all these strings in here. Which they'll be tucked in. But I just want to tie them together. But. The only thing is. Single crocheting it from there. Is starting in the middle. I'd probably want to tie my yarn off. And start on the end. And single crochet around. And in here. I'm probably going to skip a stitch. To leave me a little bit of a hole. To put my doll's neck. So I need to put the eyes and mouth, which I think I'm going to give this one some lips instead of um, just a mouth. I think this one needs lips. So there you go. That is my rainbow head for an art doll that I am creating. And it's going to have like lots of charms and beads and different little you know, things on here to make it cutesy. And I'll pick a doll body. Hopefully with a dress that kind of coordinates with this. I don't really think I have any rainbow dresses. I could crochet some rainbow dresses. But right now, I just want to focus on making some different art heads. 
and um, later I could go back and just crochet some little short simple dresses nothing um, you know not long gowns or anything which I could but I just want to get some product out right now. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a blessed day. Whatever day you're watching this, you may not be watching this on Sunday. And if you're across the pond and in a different country, you're probably watching it on a totally different day <laughs> or a different time or whatever. But anyway, I do plan to go check out Dakota's Live tonight at 7 p.m central time so if you don't have anything going on come hang out with us over there and let's see what he's doing and <laughs> what he's up to i never know and so <laughs> but remember friends it's a beautiful day to crochet no matter what time zone you're in or what day you're in it's always a beautiful day i'll see you all in my next video this coming up week so bye friends